Welcome to Envelope Budgeting. I'm going to show you the envelopes that you need to start out when you are using the Envelope Budgeting System. Now the Envelope Budgeting System has been around for a while, but a gentleman by the name of David Ramsey has perfected it to a science. So here we go. These are the 12 categories that you need. Number one, groceries. Everybody has to buy food. Gas. Everybody needs gas, especially if you have a vehicle. Entertainment eating out. You need to be able to have an envelope so that you can eat out, go to movies, etc. Home furniture slash miscellaneous. So this is anything related to things that you need to buy around the house excluding food vehicle maintenance again if you have a car you need to be able to set money aside for oil changing your tires all that good stuff clothing you need to be able to buy clothing every single month there's nothing more important than food water <laughs> and clothing supposed to say shelter but cool all right sometimes I ramble <laughs> nails barber salon blow money for him blow money for her and it's important to have those two envelopes separate otherwise you will fight don't want any of that always have a vacation envelope doesn't matter if you're going out to town stay overnight in a hotel or if you're traveling to another country you need a vacation and blue savings you need to be putting money away with a specific goal which is what I should have wrote on here with a goal so you need to be saving every single month miscellaneous these are for things that you can't calculate have a miscellaneous folder so these are the 12 categories that I strongly encourage you to have start out with and if you would like a prepackaged envelope system like this so all you have to do is put money in you don't have to buy the envelopes you don't have to do anything uh, just send a comment and say you would like these 12 envelopes and there's a good chance I can mail them out to you but let me know uh, the more requests I get for this the better obviously you can go to Walmart or anywhere and buy your own envelopes and you can uh, write on them but these are already done if you want that you can also uh, just comment below and say you'd like that or um, if you think there's other categories that you're thinking of that maybe isn't included in this then let me know as well but I, I promise you from all the research that I've done these 12 categories cover just about everything under the sun and we're talking cash we're not talking credit card payments we're not talking tithing we're not talking um, paying your mortgage or your rent or any of that stuff this is cash that you're spending every paycheck this is your leftover money after you've paid all your bills this is the cash that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis now some envelopes you'll take with you, like for example, sometimes I take the blow money with me pretty much every day. Sometimes I'll bring a, a vehicle maintenance envelope and blow money. Sometimes I'll bring blow money and gas, entertainment and blow money, home furniture and groceries. Sometimes you bring two, maybe three envelopes, but there's no reason for you to carry all 12 envelopes on you, especially if you lose your wallet doesn't make any sense but again the reason that you have 12 categories is so that you can start and you don't get frustrated and you can actually begin to budget once you budget you can start figuring out where your extra money is going if there's any left at the end of the month and if there isn't if you find out you know what we're eating out too much we're not able to pay for our gas for when we go to work maybe you need to cut back your eating out envelope so that's what this is for it's just a guide to help you get used to the idea of going to your envelopes 
instead of going to your credit card or your debit card. Alright, thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.